This is the brand new latest generation Mercedes-Benz GLE, the company's competitor to the BMW X5 and the Range Rover Sport. And just about everything about this car is new compared to its predecessor model. We're here at the Australian launch, so what better time to show you some of the changes in more detail. Mercedes-Benz has long had the wood over arch nemesis BMW in Australia's sale race, though the battle between the GLE and the X5 has long been one of the few exceptions to this rule. But the much improved new model has what it takes to take up a better fight to its Bavarian rival. The new generation GLE is 105mm longer than the outgoing car, and sits on a wheelbase that has been stretched by 80mm, improving occupant space. Interestingly, all three launch variants will have the same features and options, with the only differences being the powertrains. The GLE 300D diesel kicks off at 99900 before on-road costs, the GLE 450 petrol from a tick over 111 grand before on-road costs, and the flagship GLE 400D diesel from 118 k again before on-road costs. The AMG 53 and 63 models, which are very in demand, arrive next year. The entry car uses a 2.0-litre turbo diesel engine, making 180 kilowatts of power and 500 newton metres of torque, and this powertrain is matched to a 50-50 all-wheel drive system and 9-speed automatic transmission controlled by a column shifter. Mercedes-Benz claims fuel consumption of 6.9 litres every 100 k's, though in our drive we manage 10.2. While the 2.0-litre engine may seem small for a car weighing almost 2.2 tonnes, the GLE 300D 0-100 kn hour sprint time of 7.2 seconds is certainly sprightly enough. And if you buy the $1,900 tow bar package, you can also get a 3.5 tonne braked towing capacity. The other diesel option is a 3-litre inline 6, making 243 kilowatts and 700 newton metres, slashing the 0 to 100 time to just 5.8 seconds and not really making much of a dent in that fuel use. But $18,000 extra over the base car is a pretty hefty sum to have to pay. The other engine is the petrol fired GLE 450, which pairs a 270 kilowatt 3 litre inline 6 with a 48 volt electrical system and Mercedes Benz's EQ Boost tech that can recuperate wasted brake energy and then redeploy it as electric grunt to fill in any turbo lag and also to power the car from launch, which makes it uber smooth around town. The base suspension comprises steel springs and adjustable dampers, however you can shell out $3400 for the Airmatic Adaptive Air Suspension for a smoother ride. Entry models use 20 inch alloy wheels, but you can option sexier 21 or 22 inch rims on slimmer sidewall tyres that, alas, seriously dent the ride comfort. What did impress us though was the quietude on board. Mercedes has made a lot of effort to reduce in cabin noise from tyres or from wind rushing over the A pillars and mirrors, and it really shows. The cabin is simply gorgeous, looking and feeling two generations ahead of the old model's button-heavy layout. All grades feature two side-by-side 12.3-inch -side screens running the MBUX operating system and sporting a large projecting heads-up display. The voice recognition system responds to you simply saying, Hey Mercedes, at which point it asks how it can help. However, if you're simply saying the word Mercedes in conversation with a guest in the car, then prepare to be interrupted by this rather rude AI party guest until you switch the system off. <laughs> Nevertheless, despite this nitpicking, the breadth of its functions is hugely impressive. You can ask the car to call someone, or take you to a destination, or change the radio station, all pretty de rigueur. But you can also use voice instructions to close the sunroof cover, to turn on the seat heating, or change the cabin temperature. Pretty much all non-drive related activities can be controlled by voice. The textures and materials used are really nice too. Our test car had open pore oak wood trim along the dash and doors, though you can also get a lighter walnut or a modern brushed aluminium trim for no cost. The car also comes with changeable ambient cabin lights with 64 optional colours. The back seats are notably more spacious than before and rear occupants get USB-C points and vents, though if you want 4-zone climate control you're going to have to shell out extra for an options pack. The electric tailgate reveals a 630 litre boot which is massive, although 60 litres smaller than the old models. Our test car came with the new almost $4,000 7 seat package, which adds a pair of child sized seats in the third row covered by the curtain airbags, and which can be deployed into the boot floor when not in use. The seats that is. This option pack adds electric seat adjustment for the middle row too. 
Standard driver assist and safety tech includes nine airbags, parking assist, radar guided, active cruise control, lane keeping assist that deftly steers the car between highway road lines, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, traffic sign assist and of course autonomous emergency braking. Moreover, the GLE will be among the first Mercedes vehicles in Australia to arrive with the Mercedes Me Connect system as standard. Via the suitable app, the vehicle can be remotely started, the doors can be locked or unlocked, the vehicle can be tracked or geofenced, an address can be sent to the vehicle navigation system, and the owner will be automatically notified of upcoming maintenance. As you might expect on any luxury car, there's a hefty options list. One of the juicier packages is called the Vision Package, and that adds a massive panoramic glass sunroof and a 590 watt Burmester audio system. You can also option cool stuff like massaging seats. However, the fact that you need to pay extra for other features like a wireless phone charging pad, ventilated seats and a full tyre pressure monitor all seems a little bit stingy on Mercedes-Benz's part. Yet those few gremlins aside, the new GLE makes a much more impressive competitor to the X5 than its predecessor was. Its imposing design, high-tech cabin with bigger back seats, impressive powertrains and quietude on the road all make it an enticing prospect. Given luxury SUV buyers often want the newest thing out there, it will lure many people to the three-pointed star brand, not to mention giving existing GLE owners something fresh to hop into. As ever, if you want more information on this car, head over to caradvice.com and check out the written component of this review. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us your thoughts below in the comments.